You sure I can't get you something else? <laughs> no, I'm fine. What are you gonna do today? I am gonna go home, change clothes, and go to work. What about you? Gotta go to work too. What's that? It's about right, isn't it? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Two hundred dollars is a going rate, right? For what? For what we did last night and again this morning. When I said I'd go home with you for two hundred dollars, I was joking. Do, do you think I'm a prostitute? Yeah, you said you'd go home with me for $200. I was joking. I was joking. You, and you really thought I was a prostitute. All right, all right look, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I'm really, I, I'm sorry. You really think I'm a prostitute? Because you said you sleep with me for $200. No, I said I'd go home with you for $200. Same thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You came home with me and we had sex. It was you, not the money. Oh, it was not me? Yes. Oh. You. That's good to know. I, how often do you pay for sex? I don't. You just did. No, I didn't. Do you have mother issues or something? No, I don't have mother issues. All right? I, I just don't see what the difference is between going to an expensive-ass dinner that ain't worth it and then a boring-ass movie and then having sex as opposed to just having sex. I mean, the cost is the same. If you don't understand the difference, I definitely can't explain it to you. Desperate, would you just wait? Wait a minute. I gotta get back to the track. He gonna beat me if I ain't got that money. Tell me, tell me you didn't have a good time. I did not have a, a good time last night. You're lying, okay? You're lying because you're upset because I thought you were a prostitute. I gotta go. What? What do you want from me? Let's do it all over again. Please. Please. Let me see your phone. Call me. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh no.
work for an insurance company, but what, what do you actually do? When our policyholders get involved in an accident, I investigate the claim, and if our policyholder was negligent, I pay the claim. So you're the guy who tries not to pay people when they've been hurt in a car accident. That's not true. We pay what we owe, but people have to understand that when you get involved in an auto accident, it's not the same thing as winning the lottery. Insurance companies charge all this money, and you know they want their premiums on time, but when it's time for them to pay, they don't want to do it. Well, I worked in Mississippi after Katrina, and trust me, I paid plenty of people. The government should have been paying those people. I'm not talking about the levers. I'm talking about the actual storm, and that was an act of God. Why don't we just go to Europe? God. <laughs> God. God is a drug. I mean, there's no such thing as God. Really? Really? Well, then how do you explain the fact that you even opened your eyes this morning? I opened my eyes this morning like I do every morning, and it has nothing to do with God and everything to do with my alarm clock. Well, how do you explain the fact that some young kid gets cancer, yet another person lives to be 100? Some people are healthier than other people. How can you believe in something you've never seen and have absolutely no proof of. Let me get away from you, because you're about to get struck by lightning. Hey. How'd you beat me here? Well, I left work early. You know, I got a lot to do this afternoon, so. Okay, well, we can just grab something real quick. Bad at keeping secrets. Sit. Close your eyes. Why? Just close your eyes. For what? Stop asking questions and close your eyes. Des, I don't feel like playing games. Why are you being so grumpy? Just close your eyes. Open your eyes. What's this? Open it and see. I can't accept this. You don't even know what it is yet. You know, I called you to meet me because I, I wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk after you open it. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Let me see you put it on. I mean, it's, it's nice, but I, I can't accept it. Why? What, what, what's wrong? <sighs> I, I'm not real good at this. I mean, I usually just stop calling and then... Are, are you trying to tell me you don't want to see me anymore? But why? Well, everything seemed to be going so good. Don't tell me it's because of that conversation we had about religion. Faith. Mm, uh, well, I think your good book says something about no sex outside of marriage. It clearly failed there. Look, I'm not perfect, all right? Nobody <laughs> is. You know what really gets me is people can rob, steal, kill, get caught, go to jail, and then they get religion. And... They think everything's okay. Where, where was their faith when they were committing every crime known to mankind? All you have to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Have you done that? Yes, I have. And so is your life here reflective of that belief? To someone like you, probably not. What do you mean by that? I mean somebody doesn't know anything about the Bible or church. I grew up in the church. So did I. What bothers me more than anything, though, is the way poor people will take their last and go and give it to the preacher so he can keep his Cadillac and lay hands on the women of the congregation. You know I'm telling the truth. 
churches are a big business. They're just businesses. They do just enough in the community to make people think they're doing something. All they want to do is make money. Even the government's onto it now. You've heard about all those investigations. Do you believe in heaven or hell? Quill, wake up. There is no heaven or hell. When you die, you're dead. I mean, religion is like chicken soup. It doesn't really do anything, but makes people feel better for the moment. Everything was fine up to that point. That's why you've been so elusive. That's, that's not it. Yes, it is. And you need to be truthful about it. Just be a man about it. That's why I called you and told you I wanted to meet you face to face. I mean, be a man and admit you don't want to see me because I don't believe in God, but we're living the same life. All right, look, look at how we met. All right, we were drunk. Yeah, we were high too. Or did you forget about that? I just didn't see it going anywhere, right? Oh, really? And when did you decide that? After you hit it in every hold, 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 position hold it. Do possible? Not, do not put your hands on me. I'm not going to let you just sit there and lie to my face. You know, I should have walked out that first day and, and, and never came back. So why didn't you? Because you begged me to stay. I beg you to do anything. You did what you wanted to do. Dinner and a movie. Let's, let's, uh, you're so full of it. Give me my watch. Look, I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. You didn't hurt me. Hurting me would imply that I cared. And you ain't worth it. If I'm not worth it, why'd you buy the watch then? Poor judgment. How come you came in the back way? Oh, I was down by the water. It's, it's pretty down there. Yeah. yeah. You okay? Yeah. Why? I'm... Well, you, you said you wanted to, you want to come over and talk to me about something, and now you're here and. Just, just seem a little, little different. We haven't seen each other in three months. How would you know if I was different? I have a very good memory. Oh, really? Really. You, uh, you want to have a seat? Uh, no. What's up? I'm pregnant. By who? Who do you think? I don't know. Why do you think I came over here? I don't know, maybe you need somebody to talk to. If I need someone to talk to, why would I pick you? I don't know. So you really, you really not gonna deal with this? Why should I? I mean, it's not like I have anything to do with it. So you really, you, you 
you really not going to deal with this? Okay, what was so important that you had to pull me out of a meeting? I'm saying, can a brother get a hello or how you doing? I'm going to cut to the chase. I need a favor. What kind of favor, Ike? It's an emergency. What's the emergency? Let me hold something. Is this what you call me out here for? It's an emergency. What's the emergency? I ain't got no money. Get a job, like regular people. Come on, man, they about to cut the cable off. No more NFL, you know what I'm saying? The lights, I'm gonna be here like this. That's your problem. <laughs> All I need is a few dollars. Well, good, then it should be pretty easy for you to find someone to give it to you. Come on, man, invest in me. Been there, done that, didn't like the outcome. Will, you ain't got $500. No. You ain't got no kids. You ain't got no real responsibilities. Come on, man, for God's sake. I don't have it. I don't have it, Ike. All right? I can't bail you out this time. Man, this is me. This is cut Ike. I'm your cousin, for God's sake. Can't do it, brother. You know what? Ike, right, I'm going to put the 500 on the shelf. I'm going to leave that alone. Let me hold the car. Are you on crack? No, you can't use my car. Why? Because I need it. How am I supposed to get home and do the things I got to do? Come on, man. Look, you ain't gonna give me the money. That's obvious. I'm cool with that. Let me hold a car, go holler at some of my people, turn a few corners, put this money together. Yeah. If you're not back here by 6 o'clock, we got a problem. I'm gonna be here. I promise you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, but you mean, you gotta get your shit together, man. After this, I promise you, six o'clock. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, other night. Dreads, fat ass. What went down? Did you hit that? Six o'clock. Ah, uh, they say if you grin, you was in.
Hey out there, Raider Land, you're listening to the best station in the city. Don't touch that dial. We got music from morning, noon, till night. With all your greatest hits here on the station that makes you want to listen. How do I stay so young? I don't, but it sure helps to look it. Your skin deserves it. Something? No, I'm good. good. Went to the grocery store, refrigerator full of food. You hungry? No, I'm straight, man. I just ate some breakfast on the way over. <laughs> Got the loud on deck, blunt already rolled. You want to hear something with me? Dude, it's 11 o'clock. Don't you think it's a little early for that? Bro, let your dreads down, son. It's Saturday. What you got to do? So what you doing, man? I'm just reading the Bible. The Bible? Yeah. What's wrong with reading the Bible, Will? <laughs> Nothing, man, nothing. Man, we'll bring you by my spot anyway. I just came by to visit. You don't ever just stop by out here to say hello. It's the first time for everything. Hey, I went by and saw your old dude at the hospital the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said you ain't been there in a minute. I've been to see him. From what I got, from Unc was, he'd like to see a little bit more of his son. I mean, let's face it, he's terminally ill, he ain't doing well, the cancer is going through his body. Don't you think I know that? Whatever happened between your mom and pops when we was coming up, man, you need to squash all that, man. He's terminally ill. And why are you wearing that yellow bracelet if you don't care about it? Who said I didn't care? All I know is that my old dude was stuck up in the hospital, about to die. Man, I know I'd be there every day. I'd be aight, there like aight, every aight. Day I, didn't come, I didn't come over here to talk about that. Where'd you go with my car the other day? I went to go get that money, like I said, man. Why? You sure that's all you did? Will, again with the questions. Yes, why? Well, I had a detective come to my house last night, and he tells me that he has a witness to saw my car leaving the scene of a shooting. You know anything about that? No, I don't know nothing about no shooting. Then how'd they get my license plate? Maybe it was a mistake, bro. Well, maybe it's a mistake I let you use my car. Why are you looking at me? Why is you looking at me like that? What, what, what's that all about? Because I know you and I know the kind of stupid things that you do. This dude here, man. So what did you tell the police? I told him I was at work, which is the truth. Beautiful. So we all good then? No, we not all good. I, they got cameras in the garage. If they pursue this thing any further, they're going to realize that my car left work even if I didn't. I knew I should have followed her ass. What are you talking about? Man, true enough, I went to go get that money, man. But where I was, when I was leaving, I saw a baby girl, the one with the dress, the round booty that you met at the club. Man, she was parked up the street from where I was. When were you gonna tell me this? Man, I didn't think there was any need to tell you for real, cousin. I mean, you doing her, you kicking it with her, right? I'm thinking, why would she go to the police and say anything? Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. The initial reports claim Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base, killing at least 49 soldiers and 13 civilians. Damage to the base is said to be heavy, and the Israeli jets are reported to have made it back to their headquarters safely. A 49-year-old unidentified man went berserk last night, opening fire with a 12-gauge shotgun in a crowded downtown restaurant. 
Fourteen people are dead, including three children. Four of them suffered from serious injuries. Police are suspect in custody. Yes, can I have the city of East Point Police Department, please? Well, I have some information about a shooting, and I'd like to talk to someone about it. No, no, this isn't my first time calling. It, I'm, I'm sorry. Make her keep her mouth shut. But that's one hell of a statement. What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> I have an alibi. I was at work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So what, you gonna rat out your own flesh and blood? No, but she might. I am a convicted felon, and damn that, bro. I'm not trying to go back to that cage. All right, just a little late for all that, all right? Can't you go holler at her? Tell her something? No, I can't go holler at her. I'm not the one that went around shooting people in broad daylight. Hey, man, you pressing me a lot over this issue, man. What she got on you? She doesn't have anything on me. But if I was you, unless I had a real strong desire to spend the rest of my life in jail, I would do whatever I had to do to make her keep her mouth shut. <laughs> wow. What's baby girl's address, man? better being a father than being in jail. What do you mean by that? You wait know minute, what wait I mean? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Wait a minute, what are you, go talking, me. What are you talking about? Me. What do you mean by Let that? Let me go. Tell me what you said. If I were you, I'd hire an attorney. For what? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, she just left. She should be on her way to her house right now. What up, D? <laughs> hey, I believe the word is excuse me, brother. You realize you just bumped into somebody? Just let it go. My bad. Now, this is my sister. And I'd appreciate it if you would apologize. I apologize, my sister. I didn't mean to bump into you. Jake, you shouldn't have done that. These niggas crazy out here. Good. Because I'm crazy too. <laughs> so, what, so what you doing here? Yeah, yeah, I put in my 20 as of last Thursday. What? I am officially retired from the United States Army. Yeah, 20 years went by fast. Mm -hmm. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so what are you going to do? Right now? Yeah. We're going inside your place, and I'm going inside your refrigerator. <laughs> get some of your food. Got some, got some drink? I got some drink. Some beer. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, brother, you ready to settle down? Get married, have a couple little kids? <laughs> Shouldn't I be asking you the same thing? Hmm? 
Me? Mm. Oh, no, we're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about you. Don't try to change the subject. <laughs> you know what? You're funny. You are really funny. There you go, try to deflect everything. Uh, answer the question. Are you ready to settle down? Mm. Yeah, well, I've been looking at houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the south side. And once I get situated, and then maybe I'll turn my attention to settling down, all right? Mm -hmm. Now back to you. What's your story? I don't have one. <laughs> well, well, look, what, what happened to the, uh, the guy in the picture you showed me? The guy with the dreads? We, um, I'm, I'm not seeing him anymore. Whoa, whoa. Well, just wait. <laughs> What's that all about? What are you talking about? Look, your, your whole demeanor changed when I, when I started talking about him. What, what, what did he do something to you? Really? Did he put his hands on you? No, no. Because no, I'm here now, okay? And you ain't got to be taking no, no nonsense from some guy. Can, can we just let it go? <laughs> let it go. Let it go. You, you, you about to start crying. You talking about let it go. Jake, I'm a grown-ass woman, okay? If I... If I say I got it, I got it. Jake, move out of the way. No, not until you tell me what's going on. Can you just move? No. no. Jake. Just move, okay? No. If you're trying to annoy me, you're doing a great job. You can just go. Pregnant. Well, why aren't you happy about it? Because he doesn't believe it's his. Well, why? Because we met at a club and... Yeah, yeah. you just jump right into it, right? You want me to talk to him? No. I've seen the way you talk to people. I don't I don't want to escalate things like that. Well, you know, I can be civilized if the situation calls for it. I don't think it will work anyway. Look, you say he um he works at the reliable insurance, right? Yeah, I know what that is.
to bother you, bruh. You think you give me a boost? Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. <sighs> yeah, I appreciate that. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I already got everything connected. You know, I'm glad you finally came along, man. I asked a couple of other people, and they looked at me and acted like I was going to rob them or something. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah. Boom, boom. yeah. Shouldn't take that long, you know. I, I told my daughter you can't sit in the car with the radio on for an hour. <laughs> you got any kids? You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, it seems like you got something on your mind. Say that. You're visiting somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Family member. Father. Is he going to be okay? lost my mother to pancreatic cancer nine years ago. Sorry to hear that. Yes, yeah, probably the worst experience of my life. <laughs> you seeing somebody suffer, there ain't a thing you can do about it. You know, no one deserves to die like that. And I don't know if I could have even made it if it weren't for my two sisters. You got any siblings? Yeah, no siblings, no kid. No wife, I presume. Me against the world. <laughs> How do you deal with that? I don't. Is your mother still alive? We're not that close. You know, she and my daddy, they split when I was about 10. And Been to church lately? I didn't go this past Sunday. Why not? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just didn't wake up in time. What's more important on a Sunday than going to church? Is this why you had me come over here? Yes. When's the last time you've been to church? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a couple weeks ago. How about going to church with me this Sunday? We'll see. We'll see? You just get up in the middle of a conversation? I just stood up. What's the big deal? Talk to me as if you have some respect for me. I do have respect for you. But I just stood up and now you're getting all bent out of shape? Father said you were, went by to see him the other day. Yeah. He talked to you about his treatment? There's a new drug that might be more effective than the chemo. Problem is, his insurance doesn't cover it. It's expensive, very expensive as a matter of fact. How expensive? 7,500 for a couple of months. I don't have that kind of money. Can you get a loan or something? From where? Your 401k? I can't touch that. I look into it. I expect you to get that loan. I'll see you later. Yeah, that's a lot to hold on to. 
You, know, you got to deal with it, or else it's going to eat you up from the inside out. I've seen it happen. You know, we, uh, we, we, we get caught up in, in, in pushing the emotions away that we, we end up blocking everything else out. I mean, they could be a blessing that you miss out on that's right in front of your face. <laughs> that's why you you need to have some kids. <laughs> hey, your mama, I'm sure she'd like having a grandbaby, huh? Why would I want to bring kids into this world? So they can learn about despair and pain. So they can see the person that gave them life lay in a damn hospital bed and wither away. I'm not gonna do that to anyone. That's the way you see the world. It's what the world has shown me. Well, I think you need to open your eyes. Why don't you, uh, why don't you crank that up? It's about time. You gonna take these things off me? Why not? I need to clarify a few things. Like what? Like why you lied to me about where you were that day. Those two dope dealers got shot over on a dare street. How many times do I gotta tell you I don't know nothing about that? You think you're here by mistake? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. And I'd appreciate it if you took these handcuffs off me. Uh... What would you say if I told you that your cousin, Will Hampton, told me that he let you use his car the day those two guys got shot? I'd say you're lying. No, I think you're lying. Because you know if you get convicted one more time, you go to jail for life. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you say my cousin, Will? Cousin Will? How many people do you know named? Will. You know what? <laughs> you gonna find this. You gonna find this amusing because this is really all just a big misunderstanding. Will let me borrow his car the other day. I went over, got it from his job. About a mile down the street, it breaks down. So I parked it. I called him, and he came and got it. In the story. You expect me to believe that? Yeah, it's the truth. I mean, I'm sure somebody from his job saw him leave. It was the middle of the day. I think he would remember having his car towed. Right, right. Now, he probably didn't know what time you were talking about because, see, he didn't let me borrow his car, you know, a few times before. And so, you know, you can just ask him. Oh, I will. Cool. Can I go now? No. Am I under arrest? No, you're not under arrest. Good then. Would you take these handcuffs off me, man, and let me go? Sure. As soon as I verify your story. Come on, man. You know you cannot hold me, man, if I ain't under arrest. Watch me. Lawyer! Me a lawyer. Playing with me. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I got this straight. You expect me to take those handcuffs off you, <laughs> let you waltz right out of here, just like they do on TV. Get me my lawyer. Get me my <laughs> lawyer. You playing with me, man. We both, we both know how this goes. And if you ain't gonna play by the rules, I'm gonna get my lawyer down here to make you play by the rules. <laughs> Cop, and I bet you I'm at home eating my dinner tonight. It's the game, playing with me, man. What's up, Dad? Why are you bringing 
pants are? <sighs> Doing some push-ups. Once a soldier, always a soldier. <laughs> Thought you might have company or something. I want to invite you over back, though. You a man. Who knows why you do what you do. <sighs> so, what do you want to talk to me about? I talked to Will. You, I, I thought I asked you to stay out of that. Jake, we're not kids anymore. It, it's not like you stole my bike. I asked you to let me handle it on my own. He didn't know who I was. What did you do to him? I didn't do nothing to him. I, I met him in the parking lot at the hospital. At the hospital? What, 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 I told him what my battery died and, and, and I needed a boost. That's what it. were you doing at the hospital? Visiting a friend. What friend? Who? It's not important. I had a chance to talk to him. Did he tell you that his father was dying of cancer? No. I didn't know that. Yeah. You seem pretty broken up about it. And I'm not trying to take any sides. No, I can't tell. It sounds like that's exactly what you're doing. That's taking not his my side. Intent. He seems like a decent enough guy, somebody that you could talk to about. I tried to talk to him. Is he denying that it's his? Yeah. Is there any chance that it might not be his? No. Then why is he denying it then? I didn't find out until a couple months after we stopped seeing each other. I see. <laughs> well, there's you not like a lot of these chicks out here. All right, did they see a guy, got it going on, they gonna do whatever they gotta do to get him. Even if it means lying about being pregnant. You tell him about mommy. I think you you should take the compassionate route next time you talk to him. You guys are dealing with a lot right now. Mind if I come in for a minute? Did you go back to the meeting after you gave him your keys? Yeah, I went back in, but uh, I think the meeting was over, so I just, I just went to lunch. Did anyone see you come back in? I don't remember. Guess maybe, uh, maybe Macy saw me. She's a receptionist. You sure? Yeah. What's, uh, Macy's last name? Um, H Hanson. Macy Hanson. Hanson. H A N S O N? Sounds right. This is Will. Listen, man, I haven't heard from you. I left you a couple messages. This situation isn't going to go away by itself. I need to talk to you so we can figure out what we're going to do. This is very serious, brother. Give me a call when you get a chance.
thank you for taking time to meet with me. You're welcome. We could have done this at your job, though. No, we couldn't. Why? They made Will take a leave of absence. The people that own the company are very conservative, and they don't like a lot of attention. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Would you like some water? No, thank you. I'm fine. I'm sure you're probably wondering why I asked to see you, so I'll get straight to the point. How well do you know Will? Not that well. I'm just a receptionist, so I see him come and go. Is he well liked? Yeah. Will's a really cool guy. Has he ever been in trouble at work? Not that I know of. It has come to our attention that you are the subject, or a subject, of an investigation involving a very violent crime. I wouldn't say I'm the subject. I mean, the police asked me a few questions. But this is a very conservative company, and we ensure some very high profile. I can assure you that this is a big mistake, and it. Please. Let me finish what I have to say, and I will give you a chance to respond. I'm sorry. Do you remember seeing Will on November the 22nd? How would I know that? Will told me there was some big meeting or something that day. Here. The claim committee meeting. What's that? Every other month, all the managers get together to discuss the really big claims. Are you sure Will was in the meeting? Yeah. He handles a lot of the big cases, so he's always in those meetings. Do you remember seeing Will leave? <sighs> he got a call from some guy that said he was his cousin, said it was an emergency. I sent somebody to go slip him a note, and a few minutes later, I saw Will walk out. Did you see him come back in? Uh, no, I went to lunch. Is there anyone that covers for you when you go to lunch? Usually, but she was out that day. Well, how do you remember that? I kinda got in trouble for leaving the office. I'm supposed to stay until I find someone to fill in for me. Well, why didn't you? My boyfriend lives at the condos right across the street, and he was off that day. So, you can figure out the rest. The decision has been made to suspend you until the investigation is complete and you are no longer a person of interest. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you can't do that. All benefits are frozen. You will no longer receive your salary, nor will the company make any- I just want to call you here like this. You need to keep your voice down before I'm forced to call security. Okay, I, I'm sorry, but you have to understand, my father is dying. The decision has already been made. As soon as your name is cleared, you will be reinstated. As of right now, there's nothing more I can do for you. <laughs> Stop playing games with my life. Stop playing games with your life. I, I Other people you are life. being what? affected. First of all, you need to calm down and talk to me like an adult instead of screaming at the top of your Why lungs. Are you doing what, this to me? 
You want money? Is that what this is all about? What are you talking about? You told the police you saw me shoot someone. No, no, I did not. I, I told them I saw a car leaving the scene of a crime. Why would you implicate me if you know I was at work? I don't know where you were. I just know where your car was. Tell me you made a mistake. Tell me, tell him it, it, it wasn't my car. Why would I do that? Because you know I didn't shoot anyone. I don't know that. And the way you acted now, I'm going to call the police again. I lost my fucking job because of you. If this is how you conduct yourself at work, I'm not surprised. Why are you doing this to me? Is this what it takes to get your attention? I've been calling you for, for, for. How did you turn up pregnant three months after we stopped seeing each other? I tried calling you. I, there's messages. I know you got the messages. Let, let me go. What I want you to do is tell the police you made a mistake. Huh? See, how does this feel? Huh? Can't move, can you? Now you know how I feel. What you're gonna do is call the police and tell them you made a mistake. Because if you don't, I'm coming back. And when I move my hand, don't you say one fucking word. She was gonna be married with kids by the time you get 35. Look like you made it, girl. You know what? I can't even find a man worth staying with long enough to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Please tell me you're not still with Jeff from college, are you? Oh, girl. Please. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I mean, is this your first one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But I'm, I'm not married. So what? Nobody ain't getting married these days. So, but anyway, skip all that. How did you meet him? Well, we, we were uh, mm -hmm. at a little club in Atlantic Station. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, that, that's that's where we met. Okay, so why are you being shady with the information? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I know it's more than that. You know, how did he approach you? What was the conversation like? Come on, give me something. But I, I was walking up to the bar, mm -hmm. you know, to get a drink. Uh -huh. And, um... Yeah, I noticed him looking and kind of staring, really. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and, you know, I checked him out and we started talking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, so uh, I know there has to be more than that. Well. Nice meeting you, Will. So what, you trying to leave? Oh, you said you're gonna walk me to my car. No, it's see, fine. see, you, you misunderstood what happened. I wanted to walk you to your car, but that was with the implication that when we got to your car, you would follow me. Follow you where? Damn, what'd you say it like that for? <laughs> like what? You're all accusatory, like you think I'm going to kidnap you or something. How you know I didn't want you to go to church so we can... <laughs> the church. So we could feed the homeless or something mm. like that. At one in the morning. Yeah, you know, homeless people. They like late night snacks too. Mm -hmm. they do. I, I don't think so. You don't think so? Thank you anyway. 
doucement. Doucement quoi What do you think I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do that. Yeah, I know you do. I got that good, too. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's go. It's chilly out here. So, um, why don't you come on with me? <laughs> sure. Give me $200. $200? <laughs> yeah. You gonna sleep with me for $200? <laughs> no. I'm gonna go home with you for $200. And make sure that you are tucked in. Serious? Anything? No. He got a brother? <laughs> no. <laughs> no brothers. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh okay. yes, I definitely have to go. Okay. Let me um, give you this card so you can okay. make sure. You call me okay. so you can tell me what really happened. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So you All know right. me too well. Yes. That's, that's a problem. <laughs> All right, girly. Congratulations again. Thanks, girl. Take care. Hello. This is Chris Means calling from Human Resources at Reliable Insurance. May I speak to Will Hampton, please? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'll get right to the point. The East Point Police Department called yesterday to notify us that they have completed their investigation and that you have been cleared. Really? We have decided to reinstate you effective immediately. You can meet me in my office on Monday to get a new pass card. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, I'll see you then. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye. that day so I invited him to my room he, um, we ate something and then sat on the sofa to watch TV at least that's what I wanted to do anyway he, he kind of moved in and put his arm around me it made me uncomfortable but I, I, I didn't I didn't say anything why not? He hadn't really done anything. 
he made you uncomfortable. So we, we sat there for a while. And you started kissing me. I, I tried to get him to stop. But somehow we rolled onto the floor. And he ripped my blouse open. It was too strong. It just seemed to go on forever. And then my, my roommate walked in. And she just started screaming. And he, he didn't he didn't stop right away. And then he just got up and walked out like like nothing happened. There's some tissues next to you on the table. Did you file charges? I, I filed with the campus police and they said they would let the local police department know, but nothing ever happened. Why didn't you follow up? Go away. Did you think this was your fault? Because I didn't know him. I had known him maybe a week. And I invited him to my room like that. Do you see a pattern here? with Will. He, he, he put his hands on me, but in a, in a different way, you know? It, I don't, I don't want to talk about that anymore. <sighs> Dr. Greer, I appreciate everything you've done. Um, I don't think I'm going to be seeing you anymore. Desiree, do you think the fact that you've repeated this behavior has anything to do with the relationship with your father? Relax. I come in peace. How are you? I'm great. Really great. How are you? I'm living. I guess we should address the pink elephant in the room. I, um, I had an abortion. Figured that. You could have called to confirm it. Based on the way things went the last time we saw each other, I didn't think it was such a good idea. Well, I think we both did some things we regret. I guess I could have been a little more mature about it. You weren't ready to be a father. I understand that. How's the real estate game? Great, steady, in spite of the economy. How, 
how are things for you? About the same. It, it was yours, you know. I, um, I had my own money, Will. I, I, I wasn't trying to trap you. Anyway, I, I just came over here to, uh, tell you that I'm leaving town for a while and just wanted to let you know in person. So a phone call wasn't, wouldn't have been good enough. <laughs> Goodbye, Will. to go, sweetie.